Hello boys and girls, my name is HotCST and welcome to the 6th episode of the 4th season of FTL and once again we are in a slug controlled nebula with our Kestrel Cruiser uh, Last time we managed to opt, opt out, opt up our weapon systems a bit so it's looking slightly better uh, defensive wise we are we are good yes but we still need to work a bit on the defensive and uh, also uh, our hull is not in the best of shapes so let's see what this sector has in store for us Okay, they want to hex something and give us the option. Shields, oxygen or weapons or pay them for not doing that. And uh, we opt for oxygen because we upgraded one level. That still leaves us one level and we're good to fight! Yes, so here they have three shields, so it's a bit of a timing issue, so I will play it with a uh, lot of pause. First sending in the flag, and uh, once that hits the laser behind, because that gives us a chance um, to hit something. Yes, three hits, one shield down. Uh, I think the flag takes about two seconds to uh, reach the destination. Okay, shields are completely down. Then we can concentrate our flag power on here and they are already gone. So let's move over here next. We probably need to upgrade our uh, weapon system a bit. Um, need 50 here and 30. But that does not leave us uh, that much scrap. Okay, let's uh, let's heal them. Yes, we can use the fuel. And let's go here first before heading to the store. Okay. Um So, same story here. Flag first, and then the laser until we have their uh, shields done. I think that was a bit too fast on the flag. That's why I play it with the uh, pause usually. And that was just about right. Um, no, no, no mercy for you. And that should do it. Nice. Um, we can get to the store from here. 
Let's disconnect. Yes, yeah, so let's make this round. That should enable us to collect quite a bit of uh, scrap. Um, How do we do that? Um, I think um, shields first and then a shot into the weapons. So Okay, shields are down, weapons are also down, um, no, no, I want more, I'm greedy, yeah, I know. Okay, Hermes missile, uh, should sell quite quite good but uh, we are not focusing on a missile based system and here we have a nice setup um, let's put um, basically Let's use the, the Hermes and our defense drone and hit their oxygen and then we will wait. And everybody back to their posts. Okay. And now once again it's awaiting game and hoping that their missiles do not hit us. On the defense there is just one thing that would uh, be beneficial on top of that and that would be uh, cloaking. Uh, however, that costs uh, 150, and at present, uh, the uh, offensive system uh, is more urgent. And they are out of missiles, so now it's it's really a waiting game. In the meantime, we can sort out our uh, weapon system for the uh, next sector. We also don't need the defense drone any longer, so we can power up the fourth shield. And let's wait for them to suffocate. And there it happened. And on to the next one. Okay. And that's why we upgraded the uh, oxygen system. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think same old combination. Um, I was too fast with the laser. Okay, I think we are there. 
here for the uh, shields then we can focus the laser on the weapons and the flak on the shields nice and then finally to the store Hopefully there's something good. There isn't. Should we keep the Hermes or the Artemis? The uh, Hermes does more damage. Well, let's sell this one. Um, repair. Now I feel a bit better. And then. Um, Okay, that should be good because now we almost can power the, the Hermes on top of everything. And if we should come across a weapon, a two power weapon, we can just drop it in. Okay, flag for the shields and then laser in here. Okay, shields are down, which means we can focus on other stuff. Okay, everybody back to your post. And on we go. Oh, crap. Okay, shields are down. Um maybe weapons next Um, no, you move out here. Okay. And now it's just repairing and healing. And healing. It's 
So let's see. Okay, there is another store. Let's head for it. And hope they have something better in store. Um, no weapon. They have a pre igniter, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but also cloaking. So at this point, I would rather go with uh, with cloaking. And scrap recovery arm that would be great, but um, basically only uh, uh, early on in the game. Um, Because that gives you 10 or 15 percent more scrap. Uh, so um, over the course of uh, of the the game, you can really make uh, a difference. So as the exit is here in the nebula, um, we cannot have um, ABS in here. Uh, that's why I will go from here to here to here and then back hoping to um, gain some thing more okay long range sensors they have flag 2 which is quite intimidating And I think we need a defense drone here. I need to time this a bit. Then we should be good. Nope. And they are gone. So we got a bit of scrap out of that. And then over here. Maybe was just an empty jump. Another store. Because this one is also in the in the nebula. Um does not really metal okay they have all repair which as we don't have that many uh, drone ports um, not really that useful oh so now we have an iron storm here Okay, so let's not focus on the uh, weapons. Um, let's focus on uh, on shields and uh, and engine. So that we can get out of here as fast as possible. Ok, 
Okay, uh, basically they should go to med bay and we will jump to the exit. Okay, so now we have four shields here. Where did they board? In here. So let's Move over here and all of them got out. We should be on our way pretty soon. Yes, let's jump into the next sector, which is civilian or NG controlled. I will opt for NG, but that's for the next episode, so hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye!